When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? I don't want a tiara. Like, I'm not, it's not even negotiable. There's no tiara. Going the route of a cash bar looks cheap. It's not gonna look nice, it's gonna clash. We're gonna look like circus freaks. I'm sick of putting up with his crap. We've been here for 45 minutes waiting for him. The least he could do, if I'm so busy sticking on budget, he could be on time. I've had enough and finished, I'm done. Do it by yourself, do whatever you want. Just let me know so that I can flip the bill, okay? I'm out of here. Our bridesmaids in little black dresses. Weddings are a bride who sometimes stresses. Weddings can leave you in financial messes. Meet newlyweds Mel and Len. Making their wedding perfect meant honoring some important family traditions. Let's follow along and see if this wedding saga made their savings history. My name is Melanie. I'm a 28 year old teacher, and I met Len, who works in finance, during high school. We never dated at the time, but years later we bumped into each other and it was love at second sight. This is the story of how I stressed through the planning of our wedding day. I was really actually happy at the way that the wedding day went. I was expecting a nightmare and instead we got a fairy tale. No bombs went off and everything was just perfect. Their wedding may have been perfect, but the battle to get there was perfectly awful. Let's follow clash by clash and see how these opposing teams try to make a wedding they can both cherish. I wasn't really clear on the responsibilities of a wedding planner. I don't think Len was either. Meet Angelique Sobchak. With her 12 years of experience and endless creativity, could she grant this couple their wishes and still keep them within their budget? My role as a wedding planner is to be the counselor and help make sure that the couple are communicating with each other and then voicing their ideas to me. Today, I'm really excited to be sitting with you. Want to tell me your overall vision of your wedding? We want a traditional wedding celebrating some of our history, some of our background, both Portuguese and Irish. I just want to leave it as simple as possible. Okay. So what about flowers, decor, color? Easy. Green. What kind of green, though? Oh, just green, like nature green. I just want to leave it as simple as possible. Okay, not right. have to worry about too many things. So green is a is the solid base of color. What about flowers? Green. Okay. Maybe a little touch of color here and there, but tell me about a wedding cake. Is there a, a wedding cake that you might like, Len? Me? Yeah. Uh, not really particular on cakes. All right, Mel. Four tiered. Okay. Uh, white with flowers on every level. You know what you want. I love that, love that. So are we going to give away any sort of favors? Yeah, I actually uh, found some on sale. So Good. I found uh, little coasters with the, uh, it's like a little, you put a picture in there. But I love that picture that when we just got engaged. Like I just don't like that. that picture. You don't like that picture? No. I love that picture. Okay. What about music for the ceremony? Yeah, if we do it at a church, it would probably be the French church, and at that point, there's uh, there's people there that sing. I'm also hoping to have pipes playing. Bagpipes? Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? For I hate bagpipes. How do bagpipes sound good? Well, you're criticizing them. You've never heard it. Yes, I have. I was thinking about having the groomsmen set up in kilts for the day. I want my bridesmaids in pantsuits, because I told them that... And that's going to be very odd. Guys in skirts, girls in pants. Why do you want them in the pantsuits? Because it would be so much more comfortable and they'll definitely wear it again. If it was up to me, I'd be wearing pants to the way. I'm sensing discord between you two. What I don't like is that I'm doing a lot of the planning. I'm going out and buying stuff. I asked if you could captain the charge. I would help out wherever wherever I can. But let's not forget, like, I am flipping the bill for this totally. You're paying for the wedding. Okay. What I don't like is, first of all, I'm stuck doing all this wedding planning. Mm-hmm. I have, I feel like I need to run every single decision through you because you're the one paying for it. And I will help you wherever you say, I need help. I just don't have okay. the skills. I need help. I'm the one that's stuck planning all this from the get-go. 
Len and I have not really seen eye to eye when it comes to a lot of the wedding planning because I'm trying to get this done and Len is really busy right now and doesn't have time to get things done. So every, every single subject with regards to the wedding is about a contention with us. Let's see how I can make this easier for both of you. Okay? Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Famous words. All right. I think Angelique is going to be great in terms of being a negotiator between Melanie and I and probably smooth out a lot of bumps that we might not be able to do by ourselves. What I need to know now is your budget and what we're working with. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? Well, I'd say with this budget, your bagpipes will be playing the blues. Coming up. Hold that up. That's going to look nice? Uh, yeah. It's not going to look nice. It's going to clash. We're going to look like circus freaks. We ran them out of booze at their first round, so. Uh, oh yeah, they had to restock us. They had. Uh, and we were playing a we were paying a, a flat fee per plate, yeah, which yeah. included the liquor in the bar, and I think we probably drank more than we paid. Yep, we got the better of the deal. When it comes to planning a wedding, it's important that the bride and groom are in tune with each other. I'm also hoping to have pipes playing. Bagpipes? Yeah. No. What do you mean no? I hate bagpipes. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal how much it costs to make this wedding really sing. From the moment that I stepped foot on our venue, I knew it was the right place. The outdoorsy thing, and the price was right, so it was just, it was perfect. Yeah, I mean, we were trying to be budget conscious, but honestly, we walked in there, we scattered at a few places. But we were budget, budget conscious with that. Did she just cut, did she just cut me, she cut me off. Okay. Folks, this is, uh, this is the main reception room. Um, this is where we'll have the dinner and uh, nice. where your guests will be served. What kind of packages um, do you have? Our, um, our base package is $71 per person. Okay. Our uh, next package is our Italian package, which is $80 per person. Uh, with the Italian menu, you get um, an anti-pasta plate, uh, pasta, okay. you get fruit tray. With a cash bar or cash an open bar? Uh, with a cash bar. And how much is it per person for an open bar? For open bar, it's $91 for the regular menu. Yeah. And it's $100 per person for um, four hours of open bar. Uh, so that's a spread. So it's an extra twenty dollars per Hold person, on. but like think about Hold it. Hold on. You have three drinks at a bar, and you're over twenty bucks. It's thirty dollars spread. Multiply that by how many guests? One hundred and fifty. That is approximately three thousand dollars extra. That's the honeymoon. Is it worth it? But you're yep. saying you'd rather have a cash bar? I'm saying that for the last four four weddings that I've been to that I can recall, they've been cash bars. And how did you feel as a guest going to a cash bar? I was fine, because I understand they're, they're 25. They're just starting out. They just probably picked up, well, let me finish before you cut me off. They're 25, they've just started out. People understand when it comes to coming to a wedding, they're in their 40s, they're ahead of the game. They have most of the mortgage paid off. It's a different part of life and you're a different stage of life. Okay, but we're not like 20 or 25 getting married. We're on the older side of things, like we've got more stuff organized. So and you're you... still unemployed, which reiterates my point. We have to be careful with the finances. From a professional standpoint, I think a going the route of a cash bar looks cheap. Whereas going the route of an open bar or host bar, you're hosting your guests. I mean, would you ask people to come to your home and pay to drink? No, that's but true. But that's the same that's situation the same as this. But I don't also, at the same time, offer them a $71 spread. Can we compromise and do a half and half? To me, it's an all or nothing. You can't go and say, oh, here you go, guys. Here's a couple of drinks. Have fun. I would rather cut corners on everything else so that I can okay. reduce the costs enough so that we can have the open bar. I promise you, I'll stick to budget. All you have to do is say yes. It's, it's not that hard to say yes. Randy, the open bar, does it cover the, the entire night or does it cover a specified time? Uh, usually it's four hours. Four hours of open bar. What happens if we're ahead of schedule? Not that You're we're ahead of schedule. And I have to fork out the wallet again to cover a difference. I promise I will stick to budget. And if I don't, then we'll talk about it then, but... You'll stick to budget. Angelique, you'll keep her on task. I will help. And if you fall outside of the budget the week before, we can give Randy a call and go to cash, right? Which we won't, I promise. Pinky swear. So... Fine. 
open bar. While Len was busy, I ended up having to drag out his guys and Angelique to the tartan shop to check out what these kilts were gonna look like. Love you. I found the family tartan for Len. Oh, good. Yes, which is really He's good. He's so excited about wearing the kilt. Totally. The name of the pattern is called Fermina, and this is it. He's gonna love that, I think. And I think Mel's not going to love it. Are you sure? Yeah, I ordered it in. I got it. We're ready. Like, it's, yeah. I didn't realize it was those colors. Angelique. Mm hmm You know that my bodice is red. Like, I brought a swatch to match it up. Like, I was wanting to see what it would look like and everything, because I was really... This is... This is going to be my bodice. How's that going to work? This color mm -hmm. with this print. That's right. I told him specifically when he said he wanted to wear kilts, I said, okay, well, my dress is accented in red. Just so that he kind of knew that there's red in my dress. But when you're looking for a family tartan, it's unfortunate, but this is what it is. I went and bought my dress a month after we got engaged. How can he do that to me? Uh-oh, looks like it's going to be the clash of the tartans. I don't think it's that bad. Looks okay. It looks okay, guys. Matt, come here. There's almost come here. a little red come in here. there. Here, look, no. look, look. Hold that up. That's gonna look nice? Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's not gonna look nice, it's gonna clash. We're gonna look like circus freaks. Angelique, I don't know. I like, I seriously, I'm, I think at this point, I'm gonna need to get a new dress. A new dress? With only weeks to go? You don't have the time to get a new dress and you don't have it in your budget. This is what he wants. This is what I want. This is what I bought like a month after we got engaged. This isn't gonna look right. Like, honestly, I, I can't do this. Oh, God. I'd say that went well. <laughs> okay, people, let's just calm down. Melanie, what's up? Just talk to me. This didn't work. I understand that, sweetie. And I feel terrible for you. I mean, I understand this is your dream of your, like, this is the dress of your dreams, right? But you know, you, we have to have a little bit of a compromise with Len. I bought my dress so long ago. I didn't know that's what his tartan looked like. What if Len wears his family tartan, it means something to him, and we do something different for the guys? How do you feel about that? I don't know, like, I just think it's gonna look like hell. We're gonna look like circus freaks for our wedding pictures. But if people understand that it's a family tartan, they'll be a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, but then I'm gonna get criticized because I'm the one that decided to go with a different type of dress altogether. Yeah, but you're wearing what you want too. So really, it's a compromise for both. It's gonna look like hell. You're, but it's not, sweetie, you're How a How are we gonna make this work? Like, seriously. Okay, what if we get the guys to have some sort of crimson in their kilts? then at least when you're standing in a group photo, you're gonna match. And you know what? How about the girls put them in black? They're neutral. Totally compliments everybody. I feel like crap getting the guys, bringing okay. the guys here and then they're like just in there. All so. right, so let's get this done and let's match this with the guys and we'll put the girls neutral. Is that good? That's fine. Everybody looked great on the big day. They did. And as much as I thought that the kilt was gonna clash with my red bodice, it didn't. They look great. It looked great. Beautiful. Thank you. Stunning, even. OK. The girls came over to my place to talk about bridesmaids' dresses, and we got caught up in a few things. Oh, is that the purple monster? Oh, yes. Nice. To getting married. <laughs> Cheers. I just want to basically get down to it, not keep you guys here for a long time. I talked to Len about Pantsuits, like I promised. Um, I really would have loved to have had the pantsuits. Len's what? Putting, Len's putting the guys in kilts. So? What does that have to do with our pantsuits? The guys are going to be in skirts. That means the girls would be in pants. And How that's unique. the way it's supposed to be. How <laughs> unique? That'd be awesome. They're in skirts, we're in pants. The pantsuit is the best idea of the whole wedding. Steph, my wedding should not be ridiculous. Okay, what do you have in mind? I found a little black cocktail dress. It's short, strapless, um, has like a bit of like a ribbon here. I do need for you girls to pay for your own dresses though. Well, what cost are we talking? Two fifty, three hundred dollars. No. There is a cost associated with being in a wedding. Yes. 
but usually we keep things kind of, you know, low key. You don't want to pay for your dresses? Fine. You girls can definitely wear some of the dresses that I've had to wear at your weddings, which, by the way, I paid for. Watch out, ladies. It's payback time. Uh, Nicole, $250 at your wedding. Oh, you'll wear it, Mel. When have I ever worn this again? Halloween, when you went as a tablecloth. Uh, you can wear it, Nicole. <laughs> Seriously, what were you thinking about anyway? I thought it was pretty. <laughs> oh, and Jen, do you remember when you were married? I didn't make her wear an ugly dress for mine. When this was in? Oh, oh God. Jen, what were you thinking? Oh. Is that two different colors of color? Oh. It was in when you got married. Oh, my God. You can wear that. Mosquito netting. It's well, a purple mosquito hey, net. Purple was Nile. my favorite color. When were you married? 1975? Would there be any indication why my marriage failed? <laughs> Pink was in at one time. Uh -huh. Spending $200 on this thing didn't work. The shoes to match, an additional 50, sucked. Oh, yours was nice. I'm like wearing that it. again. I don't know. I don't or we've that. got this one. We... Oh, I like the navy one. It's nice. <laughs> this one. Oh, that was good. Actually, that one's not Oh, one of my favorites. <laughs> this was one that I had to wear for a winter wedding. Isn't it beautiful? My no. grandmother has a daughter like that so, on, her couch. <laughs> on her couch. You girls don't want to uh, pay for your own dresses? Pick one that you'll wear. That black one was from your heavier days, Mel. I don't know if that fit any of us anymore. Like, I've always been a part of your weddings. I did what you girls wanted to. I didn't give you girls a hard time. Trust me, it's like a little dress that you will definitely wear again. I think it'll look good on everyone. And black is really slimming, so you're all going to look hot in it. How much are they going to cost again, Mel? This one is $260, tax included. Oh. Holy cow, Mel. One of us had better be having some sort of Christmas soiree <laughs> so we can wear them again because that's a lot of money to cough up. Either that or you're wearing this one now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear this, are you kidding? I can't believe she wore this. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that purple thing was gonna go on anybody. I don't think she was serious. I think that what she needs is everyone's buy-in. Make sure we're all on the same page. But, you know, at the end of the day, no one wanted to be in that purple thing, so we're gonna do whatever it takes. Coming up. I'm sick of putting up with his crap. We've been here for 45 minutes waiting for him. The least he could do. If I'm so busy sticking on budget, he could be on time. It's the woman's day. And I think if the, the man understands that, he doesn't care. Just tell me what time I have to be there, dear. I don't care what color the flowers are. I don't care what your theme is. Mental. I wanna make you happy. So you know what, guys? Just let her do what she wants. When planning a wedding, many sobering decisions must be made. Going the route of a cash bar looks cheap. And later, we'll let you know if the budget remained intact or got smashed. I really didn't care about tiaras and veils. I didn't want either one of them for the wedding. It was too little prissy dress up for me. Oh, it's so pretty in here. <gasps> Look at the tiara. Mom, I hate tiaras. Oh, come on. No wonder Look you can them. be a princess, hun. They're tacky. Oh, they're not tacky. They just finish up the dress. Let me show you. No, they it. don't. Oh, come on. Come over here. Come over here. I want to see what they look like. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my god. Oh. <laughs> that's good. No. Yeah. No. Maybe come something on. else. Ooh, the pearls. Oh, look at this. This reminds me of the bodice of your dress. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, God, no. Yeah, that Why? one. Why? What's good. wrong with that one? First of all, I don't want to wear pearls, period. Oh. I hate pearls. Well, you forget about the $245. If Mom, there's that's one, like it... almost the price of my dress. Look at this. Oh, Melanie, it's not. Look at this. It's like a Spanish come on, come thing. On, come on. It would be like a cultural thing, you know, no, like our Portuguese <laughs> roots. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then with this, look, doesn't that look cute? Oh. Steph, I feel like one of those, like, really bad First Communion kids. I was just thinking, it looks like your First Communion, which wasn't your best year. Oh, that's nice. This one is like. Ooh, look at look at this. It's too poofy, Melanie. It's not poofy at all. The poof is good. It makes you look taller. It's good for a short bride. You know what? I am a short bride. Short or short tempered? I'm not surprised at all by Melanie's reaction. There's a reason the words M E L are in the word melodramatic, and that's because Melanie defines that. Okay, what about this? I still think that we could finish the look with a simple, simple one. 
This one's only like $150. I think it's time to let go of the tiara idea. Oh my God. Once you make a statement. Like, this is confusing. Like there's too much going on in my head. What do you like? I want something plain. Like just, what, what, why can't we go plain with just a, a nice little tiara? Cause mom, I hate the idea of a tiara, period. But, but I don't want one. I don't want a tiara. Like I'm not, it's not even negotiable. There's no tiara. Now those are the words of a true princess. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at. Look at this one. Really look, stop the defensing. Yeah. Put, put it down so she can really get the look of what it looks like. And look at that. You wanted, you like this idea of this thing. Yeah. It's not poofy like the other one. It's little, it's mini, it's not long. And it's kind of like the beading on my dress. And it's, yeah, if you're not gonna have a tiara, you need the beading. How much is this one? You know what, Mel? I wanna buy it for you. Well, this Steph. one's 269, Mel. It's expensive, Steph. It's really like, nice. I don't want you, it's really he's nice. already spent so much money hey, on the wedding. I'm not taking no for an answer. You I never do. I just want this to be done with. You look beautiful, it matches your dress, it fits perfect. Let me get this for you. Let her take care of it, you'll thank us later. Whatever, whatever. Here. I can't believe that I had to go out, buy flowers, and bring them to you at a golf course for you to make a decision. I can't believe. The wedding day almost got in the way of a good round of golf. I just don't understand why we have to come here. Like, can we not just maybe set up an appointment where he'll come to us. I've tried that. He just doesn't have the time, but he's got time to go golfing with his buddies, but he right. can't come out to a flower shop to meet with me. You gotta remember though, guys aren't into details. Can't you just take these flowers home and talk to him over dinner? That's not the point. Okay. Okay, at this point, we've arranged this meeting. Mm -hmm. He knows he has to be here. Mm -hmm. I didn't drive out all this way to the golf course with you. I know. For us I to know. just go and sit on our butts with these flowers at home waiting for him to be done. I know. I'm just saying is maybe we could have done this a different way. Honestly, Angelique, at this point, if he doesn't come out here to meet us, I'm gonna go out and meet him. Oh, you can't do that. I'm sick of putting up with his crap. We've been here for 45 minutes waiting for him. The least he could do, if I'm so busy sticking on budget, he could be on time. We're gonna go out, you're gonna come with me. Cause here. I don't wanna get thrown off. Mel. If we, we get thrown off, it doesn't matter, we're not golfing anyway. It doesn't matter, you can we get, get thrown get... out of the car. You can get thrown I'll out. I'll be back. Okay, get in. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't really think this is a good okay, idea. Okay, honestly, get in. I think you're being irrational right now. I'm not crazy, I'm planning a wedding. That's an understatement. Here, I'll give you the flowers. How about that? And then you can go. You know what, just come, okay? Oh, honestly, this is not smart. Okay, look, he always says, you know, when Angelique's there, he feels a lot more calm. So come if, with okay, me. Okay, if I go with you, will you calm down a little bit, please? I'm perfectly calm. I don't think so. Fine. I'm going, I don't agree with it. Like, doesn't this thing go any faster than this? Like, what does it work on? Well, it's not a race car. What was that actually going through your head as you were chasing me down like a maniac in that golf court doing 40 on the first hole? What? It wasn't that fast. Those things don't even go that fast. What? 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 Where were you? What the hell? Mel, stop! Mel! Don't drive the cart on the green, okay? You're not supposed oh, to do that. Oh, what's green? Like, Every... the grass is green. That's green. <laughs> What, what, are you, what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I've been waiting for you for the freaking flowers. I need a decision. Okay, Mel. Don't shush me. Don't shush me. Don't. You do not want to shush me. Right? Billy, this is a golf course next to a cemetery. It's you supposed to be the second quietest place to be. You know what? I don't care. What do you want me to look at? Flowers. These I really like. For like the corsage and stuff like that. They're kind of orchid. Ugh, this stupid plastic off. Can you get the plastic off of that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. And then there's traditional roses. I was thinking about. Like, Angelique and I were talking for, like, centerpiece and stuff, and, oh, stupid plastic. Here, smell them, they smell pretty. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And then Just... there's white. Do you like the white? Yeah, Which lovely. Which do you prefer? White or red? You want the orchids, how much are those things gonna cost? They're gonna be in 100 to $140 a stem, depending on how many blooms. I mean, it, they get pricey. They're five bucks a bloom at least. Oh, look how beautiful these they are. These like, Melanie, the... these are gonna be a quarter, oh, half easy. the cost. Yeah. And a quarter is beautiful. Melanie, all in, like, this is gonna get us close to going over the budget. Well, Lynn, at this point, like, we can't really worry about how much everything's gonna cost. It's a matter of what's gonna match with the kilts. Well, what's going on here, for God's sake? Uh, well, we're not gonna keep moving. Well, then, you know what, Len? You've gotta, like, make a decision Stop and make it. her happy. 
go with the orchids. We'll stick with them if you really like them. Let's get this done. I'm not running the bill by you. Fine. Okay, I'm so just gonna put it. the deposit, get it done and taken care of. Perfect. From now on, all decisions are made on the putting green. Just do whatever you gotta do. It's fine, go with it, okay? You gotta get off, okay? There's guys who are about to yell at us, all right? So just go. Shut the hell up! Okay, so maybe I looked a bit psycho going out onto the golf course with the golf cart and flowers trailing behind me, but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do when it comes to wedding planning. With wedding cakes being so expensive, we just wanted something plain and white and just adding a couple of bells and whistles here and there, just not literally bells and whistles. I had a couple ideas. You had a couple of ideas. What about top? I really want the cake jewelry. Cake jewelry, all right. I want the monograms. Monograms. Cake jewelry, I think, is simple, it's elegant, it's timeless. In fact, they have a sample. How much is it? They are pricey because, you know, they're Swarovski crystals, and to get well, to get three, which is common, you use your first name, your last name, and your initial in the center, you're looking at a total of $120. Really? All right. Like okay, hold on. What about if we were to sort of tie in tartan colors? Seriously? No, 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 hold on, two seconds. You've got, now not necessarily those colors, but we could try to find the colors we're gonna be using at the wedding. That looks Christmassy. Like how, like this, or okay, around well, the bottom? Do, but maybe there's ways we could sort of tie it in around the side. Len, honestly, I think it's tacky. Tacky? And you wanted me to contribute, you wanted me involved. No, I like that you're here, but I don't like the ribbon. All right. You wanna try something else? We still want your input. Remember, it is still your wedding. Even if it's tacky. Fine, I'll try something else. Let me go. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Okay. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Open your eyes. <laughs> Ta-da. What do you mean? Why are you laughing? That has to oh. be the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. There's it's old fashioned, sure. yellow glue coming. Oh, look at that. The lace is falling off. It looks like 1950s. But look, you've got all the elements. If you don't want to do the tartan here, you could do it here. It's only a minuscule amount. Oh. It's man. disgusting, Len. Like, you actually like this. Like, you can look at me straight in the eyes and say, I like this cake shop, or this is what I want on my cake. Can you look at me and tell me you want this on the cake? You're going off the deep end. Okay, no. look. Look at this and yeah. tell me that you actually like it. I actually this like it. This doesn't look it, like hold you. Hold on, two seconds. It has the Irish element here. We don't have to go with the colors that are there. But you can you know actually, we're two doing, seconds. We're doing two, Irish everything. I, I don't want this. Dress. Like, this is not negotiable. I am not putting this on my cake. The cake that I chose is classy. This is ugly. It just goes and makes it look cheap. People are gonna walk in and seriously laugh. When I find 30 seconds to actually come in and contribute, which is what you've been nipping and screaming at me to do, and I finally come in and do it, you throw it back in my face. I've had enough, I'm finished, I'm done. Do it by yourself, do whatever you want. Just let me know so that I can flip the bill, okay? I'm out of here. I don't want you guys fighting over this, so let's finish off. What cake topper do you want? The cake jewelry, that's what you want. Yes. The monogram. Yes. Then let's just go with that and I'll get it done, okay? Can you go and talk to Len? We'll see. Please. Go talk to him. I'm sorry, I came in here and I went a little off the gun, but I came in here trying to contribute. You want me involved helping and contributing my opinion, even though I've advised that it's not always the best, and when I do, you still throw it back in my face? Len. I'm glad that you're stepping up to the plate. It's awesome that you are, but I'm not gonna go and put a cake topper like that on our cake. It's just, it's hideous. <sighs> Babe, like, I'm glad that you're helping out, but. I'm not helping out. I am, but I'm not. But I love you. <laughs> but you love me. Fine. Coming up, like they're gonna look at this one and say, this is not your engagement photo. If it is, you guys both look sick in it. I'm just gonna pull him right over and say, you deal with this. That's it, that's it, I'm done. She was stunning. Oh. Absolutely stunning, and not just saying that because we're sitting here, she, <laughs> she truly was. And if, even now when we look back at the photos and stuff, just absolutely stunning. When it comes to working together on a wedding, it's best not to flip out. I've had enough, I'm finished, I'm done. Do it by yourself, do whatever you want, just let me know so that I can flip the bill, okay? I'm out of here. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if the budget remained or just got tossed.
here I am trying to contribute ideas, and I really wanted one to be incorporated. That was the Pipers, wow. and you took a lot. <laughs> These guys were good. Come wow. on. Boy, there's a lot of Pipers. How about we go like try to track down two of these guys or a couple of these guys and see if they do weddings, see if they're gonna play at ours, all right? Are you serious? Yeah, let's go. I mean, they just, they're zipping by. I'm sure they're gonna stop. Okay, did you see plane. how many people, like it took us half an hour to walk here. Yeah. The sun is like burning my skin. Uh, I can learn one. Like honestly, how do you think we're gonna find these freaking bagpipers? Ah, nice afternoon of stalking bagpipers. Hi, my name's Len. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, nice hat. Thank you very much. Hi, Len. Lee, Lee nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And this is Howard. Howard. Nice to meet you. Um, you guys kind of look alike. We're yeah. twins. Are you serious? Oh yeah. Oh, Get out. They're twins. One of the few identical twin pipers you're ever going to meet. We're actually looking for, you know, the traditional wedding. Mm -hmm. We say the vows, and then we're looking for pipers to sort of take us out of the church and maybe introduce the wedding party. Lennis. We'll no. Well, I wanted to get uh, a vocalist for the church. Like nice soft music, French and English songs. Can you do both, guys? Typically, like they have the soft music during the ceremony, and then at the end, pipers are there. That's when the party is starting. That's that's when you should have your pipers. Really, guys? The party gets started with bagpipes? Do you guys even do weddings? Oh, absolutely. Like, How much is it? Six hundred dollars. Do you guys have any sort of tune that you could play, like typical at a wedding? Um, yeah. Mary's wedding. Oh, sure, let's try Mary's wedding. Oh, Mel, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Try it. Were they not good? I, nothing against you guys, <laughs> okay? Okay. It's just, it's not my cup of tea. Really, Mel? I never would have guessed that. I don't know. I think we should talk to Angelique about this. Well, we can talk to Angelique about it, but my mindset, do either of you guys have a car? Because, you know, we'll oh. probably be coming back to yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have a card right here for you. Definitely. I didn't realize that those sporins were like purses. That's oh, absolutely. Cool. It's, it's, it's not You're a gonna have here. a purse. It's, it's You're a... gonna have a purse the day of our wedding. You can carry my lipstick. Awesome. <laughs> it's a sporin. I needed Angelique, or at least someone, to sit the two of us down to kind of give us the imaginary slap across the head that we needed. So how are you guys doing today? Tired. <laughs> yeah. Make it. That's why I brought you in today, is just kind of to make sure we all get on the same page. Your ceremony music, we haven't got anything decided on that, and I need to know if we need to reserve something or what you even want, so what's the idea? Um, well, actually, I heard uh, a bilingual vocalist the other day, and of course, the ceremony is bilingual anyway, French and English. So, so did you great. book her? Um, I was planning on it, yeah. Okay, so let's get her booked, and then that's it. One thing off the list. What about the bagpipes? The twins? Twins. Twin what? Bagpipes? Twin yeah. bagpipes. Bagpipers. Bagpipers. Pipe Hers. Yeah. This is $600 for them to play these pipes when we're going up the aisle and then outside? No, they play when we leave the church. They're also going to play at the reception as they introduce the wedding party. So there's a few hours Okay, so like maybe like an hour. $600. Yep. So we're That's talking what? Huge Max. Five songs? Max. Yeah. Five songs for $600? That's $100 a song. I guess math was never her strong point. Didn't want to mention this at all, and we're talking about the budget, but again, this budget is being flipped 100% by yours truly. So I think there's a little bit of room for flexibility there. Well, you're right. You are the one paying for it, so if you're okay with it, then by all means, get your bagpipers. I don't want both of you to be at each other right now. Like, I feel like I'm just gonna explode. Like, I need I need help. I'm here to help, but I, I'm, again, Mel, you've got to talk to me. You've got to ask me for help because I can't read your mind. Major areas of concern then. Yes. Um, favors. Okay, how are we doing on that? The way that it's packaged right now, it's nice, but I don't really like the little thank you that's included in there. How many of those do you have? A uh, hundred. So you have a hundred favors that you need help to assemble or take apart? Um, it would be both. Take apart and reassemble? Yeah. A hundred? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I see you're stressed. And honestly, I don't want you to get upset. I'm gonna do this to help you out as best as I can. Leave it with me, it, I will take care of it. Anything else that you guys need? Time? Ah, I'm not your fairy godmother. <laughs>
From underdressed to overzealous, this bridesmaid got ahead of herself. And bridesmaid, take two. So when the doors open and we were looking out at a crowd of people who were there because of us, I started getting butterflies in my stomach and freaking out, but then I saw your face and everything was all right. Smooth sailing from there. You look beautiful. And you look handsome. Thank you. Even in a kilt? Even in a kilt. I, Leonard. Take you, Melanie. Take you, Melanie. To be my wife. To be my wife. Moi, Melanie. Je te prends, Leonard. Pour être mon époux. Melanie, take and wear this ring. Melanie, take and wear this ring. Which I give to you. As a sign of our love. Leonard, je te donne cet anneau. En signe de notre mariage. Oops, and that was in stereo. sick and uh, what had happened was we had uh, our, our car had a tiny hole in the muffler and I guess we both got a little bit of carbon monoxide poisoning by the time we got home we were both sick and uh, so so that nice, was a nice way to start the, start our life together when it comes to your wedding day be prepared for some little slip-ups how yeah. many favors are we supposed to have because I've already done every other on the tables but we have two boxes left we have 38 you have 38 left left all right, that's not enough. Soon we'll reveal if Mel and Len spent what they thought they would, or if they blew their budget. When we arrived at the hall, I was amazed at how much better it looked when we were there for our big day than it did when we were just scouting it out and for it the first time. And it was always beautiful. It was just, it was awesome because we got there, I was so keen on just kind of running down, getting our pictures taken, but I had to see what Angelique had done with the place. Oh my god, it's awesome. Oh, I want to see the cake. Cake is like the one thing I'm going to Look at it with the blue tartan ribbon. Oh, Mel, it's gorgeous in here. Oh my god. Okay, can I just get everybody to go inside? We're just going to get ready now to have the bridal party introductions. Okay, thank you. Oh, tell me, translate to me in French. How do I say it in French? Go, everybody inside. How do I say it in French? Tout le monde de l'intérieur. Tout le monde de l'intérieur. A l'intérieur. A Thank you. Du monde to let that. I tried. Paria. A l'intérieur. Wow, it's lucky the whole wedding wasn't done in French. With everyone in place, it was finally time for the couple's grand entrance. Please welcome Melanie and Len Corrigan. <laughs> I really don't care about budget at this point. I want all of our guests to have a great time. That's what's on my mind right now. <laughs> oh, love. You want your guests to have a good time, but will you have a good time when you see the bill? The original budget we handed to Angelique was $20,000. By getting creative with the centerpieces and shopping around, we were able to complete all of them for $155, which was quite the bargain. The cake, accessories, everything, Melanie's friend did a fantastic job putting it together, it came out to $595. Not my cup of tea, but they sounded pretty darn good. The bagpipers came in at a whopping $600. Mel did a great job choosing the flowers, having everything set up. She had to chase us on a golf course in order for us to make up our minds, but all in, the flowers cost us $636. Angelique's fee seems minimal at this point um, and was worth every single penny at $1,000. 
Melanie looked absolutely beautiful on the wedding day. My dress didn't look bad either. For the wedding attire, cost was $1,100 for both. The venue, which I consider our little piece of paradise, with open bar and the food, cost $11,000. The miscellaneous costs, including DJ, photographer, and the guest favors, puts us at $4,345. Our total actual wedding cost was $19,431. Which puts us under budget by $569. Not bad. Not bad? Hey, I'll take that 600 bucks and go spend it by all means. Good Lord. The garter has been found, the bouquet has been tossed, and the guests happy with the open bar. The only question left is, what was under those kilts? We're looking at all these um, rings, and I said, oh, that's a really pretty ring. I really like that one. And he goes, sold. And then he said, well, you marry me right there in front of the... Uh, our jeweler. You don't realize until you're actually there in that position, you know, just exactly the magnitude of what's happening. What you're going to get stuck with. And what I... <laughs> ah, that's going to leave a mark.